I'm here with Beth Huntington today, the renegade seamstress, and she is going to teach us how to make some really easy winter accessories. Yes. What are we doing today, Beth? Well, we're going to make some boot socks, and we're also going to make a cute little beanie hat, a little pom-pom hat. When you say boot socks, it took me a while to, I always see these cute like cuffs coming out of the top of people's mm -hmm. boots, and I thought they were actually buying really tall socks, but they're not. Mm -hmm. They're like sleeves right. basically for your legs. Right. So how does that work? Well, you know, you can actually use any old sweater. It might be one you have that you don't wear as a sweater anymore if it has holes in it. And you can use the sleeves and just cut off the bottom part of the sleeve and you can use that for your boot sock. So maybe cut off about, um, oh, you know, about what would that be? Maybe 12 inches oh, or so. Probably, yeah. Wait, you're actually cutting uh -huh. sweater? Yep, just cutting the sweater. And this and particular okay. sweater is like a knit sweater, so it won't fray. It'll okay. be fine. And if you're worried about it, if you have a regular sweater that you worry that might fray, you can just hem the edge of it. Okay. So you just may just take a cut. And this That's is handy because it's all stripey, so we yes. know where to cut. Yes. <laughs> you know, right where to cut. And then you're actually going to be using this edge as the top. Because and, it's wider. Mm -hmm, yep. And you'd put that on before you put your boot on. On, and then you put your boot on and you've got a boot sock. All right, easy. Let's take a look at these on my friend Peggy and see how they look. Peggy, those are so cute on you. So actually, Beth, what I was thinking is we could turn it inside out and then just slip it inside of a rubber boot, like a rain boot or a, any kind of hunting boot, and then fold it over the top. That's a great idea. To make a really cute cuff. Yeah, and really also kind of insulate your leg a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, that's darling. So we've got this sweater, we've cut off the sleeves and basically made a mini sweater. Yes. <laughs> but I think you have another thing we can still do with the sweater, is do. that right? Yeah, so plans for the rest of the sweater. We can actually make a hat out of this. And what you'll need to uh, do is make a pattern first. And you can just use a regular hat that fits you. Or if you're making this for your child, you can use one of their hats. Okay. And then you can just use a piece of paper or just open a paper bag. And what you'll do is you will uh, lay the hat onto the paper and trace around it and then add a little half inch for a seam allowance right. and then cut that out and that will you'll use that for your pattern and um, the mm -hmm. bottom part yep you'll put that right on so the just bottom lay this on the sweater yep, lay it yep. on the sweater and then have make sure the bottom is pretty even front front and back and then you'll just pin this onto the sweater it still baffles me how many things we can make out of a sweater and the fact that they don't unravel and how easy it is. I never really would have thought of sewing sweater mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. which is strange because if I look at the inside of a sweater, there are sewn seams in there, but. Right. Yeah, and it's just so fun because you can, oh, there's so many sweaters at thrift stores and you know in our closets that yeah. we don't wear anymore. So it's really a lot of fun to make different things out of sweaters. So just gonna cut right around there. And then this sweater doesn't have much of a difference between the inside and the outside, you know, so it probably won't matter too much. But some sweaters you want to make sure you have the right sides together. Got it. And then pin that together uh, just right around the edge. Start at the bottom when you sew so that you don't end up with an uneven edge. So we're always lining up the bottom mm -hmm. to start with. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just pin it together all the way around. And this one has the stripes, so you can actually match the stripes, which is really nice. I was going to, I actually would have to match the stripes. It wouldn't be an option for me. Yes. <laughs> yes, you want to make sure you're matching the stripes. Yes. And we'll just continue pinning all the way around and then we will sew the half inch seam. It's going to be a cute little hat. I like this because it, this was a girl's sweater, I can tell because of the um, sort of the lacing at the top, mm -hmm. but this really would be a cute hat for my little boy Chandler. Oh yeah, and you could um, use a lot of different patterns and center the patterns and things. So you're going to end up just sewing along the curved edge. Okay. And you'll take the pins out, of course, as you sew. And I'll go back and forth on the end seam so it doesn't come apart. What I love about your projects is I think people are really intimidated by sewing, but it's it's not that hard. If you learn how to use a basic sewing machine, which you can a lot of times purchase for right around 100 to 150 dollars, you can do so many things. You can. 
And I think people get a little intimidated too, thinking that it's really hard. And But there's so many very simple projects. If you just start with a really simple one, right. then um, you know, and move into a little bit more involved ones. But this would be a great beginner project and a great project to do with your kids. I love yeah. your projects also because you do repurpose clothing quite a bit, but you don't necessarily do fussy clothing projects. And I think a lot of times it's time intensive to sew clothes, mm -hmm. but you just basically repurpose clothes, which I love. Yeah. Okay, so we've sewn our hats. But you'll, you will, there's one more step that you'll okay. want to do, and that is to notch out the curves. Yes. Because when you uh, put it right side out, it will get too bunchy if you don't notch okay. it. About every, about every inch. And just make sure, be really careful that you're not clipping the stitches. So when you say notch, I, I know what that means. It's just cutting a little triangle so the fabric has room to give. And it's pretty cute, but I think it could use something. It could use a little pom-pom on the top, yeah. I think. So um, I do have a, a pretty easy way to make them. And this would be like if you just were at home or living way out in the country like I do and you don't have <laughs> access to stores, so you just kind of make do. But I just cut two three inch circles out of corrugated cardboard with a one and a half inch circle out of the middle. And then simply loop the yarn mm -hmm. around and then what happens is you basically end up cutting mm -hmm. Yep. in between all of that and mm -hmm. your pom-pom becomes a pom-pom. Yep. There are actually um, some really great tools that you can buy mm -hmm. at your local fabric store. It's like around six dollars and it's a little bit easier than this to use mm -hmm. but I I think this is a fantastic project for mm -hmm. kids too. It is, yeah. And so you would just take a, a darning or a yarn needle yeah. after you were finished making your pom pom and just hand sew it to the top and then you've got a really cute little... It's That is going to be an adorable hat. Yeah. Beth, thank you so much for You're these welcome. ideas. We've thank got you. boot warmers and a hat out of one sweater. Mm -hmm. yes. We are ready for winter. Thanks so much for watching today and thank you Beth for coming thank to learn you. more about these projects and Beth's other projects that are in this amazing book. Visit our website.